Mercedes-AMG is still in the early stages of its inevitable transition to fully electric vehicles. There are still a lot of cylinders in the AMG lineup, but they are being replaced quickly. As this trend continues, it will be up to the brand to keep its reputation for performance without using the big, powerful engines that we've come to love over the years. Don't worry, though. Even though powertrains are getting smaller, Mercedes is. I won't say anything about the second one until that time comes, but I'm happy to say that there is still a lot to like about the AMG Light C sedan. I can't rate the Mercedes AMG C43 yet because we don't know how much it will cost or how much gas it will use in the US. A car score only applies to its own market segment, not to the new car market as a whole. The new 2.0-liter turbocharged mild hybrid four-cylinder engine in the C43 is the same one in the CLA45. It is an AMG engine built by a single technician in a falterback, unlike the last Gen V6. Engineers turned the engine 90 degrees and added a new electric exhaust gas turbocharger to make it fit in the longitudinal direction. This interesting technology was first used in Lewis Hamilton's F1 car. After a lot of changes, it is now ready to be used in AMGs for the road. Between the turbine and the compressor wheel on the intake side of the turbocharger is its own electric motor. This is different from the EQ Boost system because it uses an electric motor instead of the compressor. The E motor drives the turbocharger's drive shaft before the exhaust gas hits it. This cuts down on lag time. When the power from the exhaust gas and the E motor are added together, this turbo can go up to 175,000 RPM and make almost 50 psi. With the fancy new F1 turbocharger, the engine makes 402 horsepower instead of 382 horsepower in the CLA45. In theory, Mercedes could have put the same conventional turbo on the whole unit and put it in the C43, but it didn't. This unit that is helped by electricity has a lot more to offer in the future. Now, the crazy rumors about the upcoming C63 having more than 650 horsepower sound more likely. Even so, when this claim was made to AMG engineers, they didn't blink an eye. I ran outside to try out this new setup and saw a row of C43s parked in the rain. They were drenched. With the rest of the day left to test the car and no sign of the sun, I headed for the hills. An ice cream vendor had told me that bad weather tends to break in the nearby hills. I agree with his main point, which is that the C-Class got a big makeover with this generation. With that DNA as a base, some tasteful AMG changes make the C43 look even better. The AMG night package on this test car turned off the lights on many important exterior features, like the Panamericana vertical slot grille. You can now choose between 20-inch and 21-inch wheels. The 21-inch wheels look great with their aerodynamic inserts and brushed metal finish. Even better, the back of the car has a large spoiler on the trunk lid and quad oval exhausts, both of which were signatures of the previous C43. The firecracker sedan looks more aggressive than ever, so it wouldn't be a stretch to think that this is the fastest model in the line. At first, I thought I liked the cabin of the C43 because it kept me dry from the rain outside. The thing is, this interior is great no matter what. Under the 11.9-inch MBUX infotainment screen is a beautiful piece of glossy carbon fiber that runs the length of the dashboard. This goes well with the red-hot seatbelts and the matching stitching around the seats and door panels. Also, those optional AMG Sport seats still hurt me, and I mean that in a literal way. With so little padding, these thrones should be in something that will be at a real track. If you get rid of those seats, your car will have the best interior of any in its class. I hope that Mercedes would put more space between this new C-Class and the CLA to make the extra money worth it, and it did just that. Even though powertrains are getting smaller, Mercedes is.